Welcome to Craps 101, a continuation of our lecture series. We again have our two players uh, that are going to participate in this. We have Chris on my right and we have Ted across from me. Uh, we are going to illustrate some of the uh, important strategies that uh, one can use when playing craps. Uh, some of the earlier uh, videos have shown you some other possible strategies. Again, many of these things can be found in my products which are the, uh, the two books I have on craps and my DVD, if you're interested in going into it in, in many greater detail. And uh, today we're going to uh, stress the uh, playing of the, uh, uh, the combination of pass and come with the uh, place bets. Okay, we got an eight. So, oh, so this means this bet wins. So, what are you going to get paid? Well, in this case, you get your $10 for your front line bet, pass line bet. But now, 8 pays $6 on that odds bet for every 5 you have out. So, you've got 10 here. So, therefore, how much am I going to pay you? I'm going to pay you $6 for the one and $6 for the other. So, I'm paying you $12. On your bet, you just have the one pass line, so you get paid that. Okay, so take your money off that you won. Don't leave it out there. Okay, now we're at a new roll. So this goes back to off, and now you can put your pass line bet, and we repeat the process again. And let's see what the computer comes up with. And this stays as it is. Yeah, that just stays. Yeah, unless you call it now, up. you can take those down. That's the advantage of these place bets. Okay. You may take them down or say, I want them off. Okay, and if not, they're active. Now, uh, in coming out, if you throw a seven, it's not going to affect these, is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And coming out, it'll, yeah. you lose it? You may lose them, yeah. That's why you want to not have them up until the point is established. Okay. So you could have pulled these down or say they want them off. Okay. So, okay, so now our number was a 10. So we're going to put this on the 10 and the, uh, that means that again you can, your next bet will be either what? You could put odds bets behind it or you can bet other ones. Now here's what I would suggest since you already have the 8, the 6 up, I would bet the 8 at this point in this 6-8 strategy. So you need $12 each for the for this bet here. Okay, so Chris is here and Ted is there. Okay. Now, again, you may put odds bets behind. You don't have to put it behind if, <coughs> if you don't wish to. Okay, here we go. Nine. Nobody has a nine. Ten. Eight and six are the only possibilities, so therefore nothing happens. Other people might have bet the nine. They would win something if they got it. Okay, we got another nine. Again, nothing happens. So we'll just wait it out. I guess time is on your side. Eight. Aha. Now, so now eight is the came up, so therefore you're going to win on that. So since this is paying $7 for every six, Okay, you got 12 out here, you're going to get basically then, how much? 14 for that one, and then for this other one, you're going to get 14. Now, a lot of times with people, that'll be your 14, and they'll move those to you, and you can say, do you want these to stay up, or do you want these to come down? Now, a lot of times people will, when you have these $12 out here, they'll say, you'll throw a dollar on the table and say, give me 15 for one. So in other words, you're getting 14, so you put, they'll give you 15, and you give them a dollar back. That just saves the ones. But now this can stay up. Everything moves along. Nothing changes. You've just won 14. Uh, Six. Six. Yes. I had a question. You do nothing with the past? That no, it just stays. This is your only thing that's going to win or lose for you is the 10. Uh, okay. Nothing. So six came up. So now you each are going to get, in this case, again, now you're making some money. There's 14 and 14. There's your, oops, there's your 14 and there's your 14. What number came up? Six. So oh. you won 14. Okay, so now here's an idea that you need to keep in the back of your mind. You've now won 
one six and one eight you've paid for this bet so even if a seven comes up you've already gotten your money back because mm -hmm. you've been paid 14 and 14 right so you're, you're all set now we'll okay well we'll continue we'll continue let's see what happens here now you could add by the way you could add to these bets if you wish 10 came up oh we're on a, we're really on a roll now wow. so so therefore you will get paid one to one for that and you will get paid one to one for that this goes to the off and again now we're starting the game over again so you may pull your chip off or leave it as it is I'm gonna make my ride I'm gonna ride my okay ride. that's fine he's increasing now that brings up a point he's pressing his bet meaning that he's raising his bet you could also, at any point in time, raise these bets up. A lot of people do that. I believe you should win several bets in a row and, and start playing with their money rather than your money before I would raise anything up. But that's, again, your choice. I mean, you may do that. Okay, so now we have to establish a point. So far, we've, we've been doing very well. So let's see what comes up as the next point. Again, even the computer doesn't remember what the last roll was. This is all random, completely random. Okay, the point is a nine. So now the nine becomes the point. So you will win and lose on the nine. If you wish to put money behind as odds bets, you can do that at this point. Uh, or you can make other bets. The, the five and the nine are equal, so I'm going to play the five and the nine. Well, okay. <laughs> excuse nine me. Is already Nine's already here, so all you need to do so is put the five. five. You only need ten dollars for that Just if you want to bet five. bet that, okay? So I'll put you in that same position. So these three are yours. These two are yours, Ted's. Okay. Any other bets? Okay. Let's go and see what we get. Okay. I got a five. So he wins on that one. Okay. So you're going to get now. What do you get for what do you get for that five? Well, street, street five. no, you don't get, see what happens now is, is that they pay on the five, they pay $7 for every five. So you're going to get five and five, you're going to get seven and seven, you're going to get $14 for that. Okay, do you understand? They pay seven, they pay seven for five. So those are yours. Again, this can stay up or you can pull it down. Now would the nine be the same? No, nine is based on... The pass line. That's a little different. That's no, only one I mean, to one. What I mean was it pay the same odds as you just paid me for the No, five. no. Again, because you're not placing the nine, you're doing it as a pass line. It's just a oh, one to one oh. bet. Okay. It's just one to one. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got a five again. Well, Chris is doing now. I will say, give me a dollar. So you'll throw a dollar out and I'll pay you fifteen pay you fifteen for one. Okay, that's a very common, common thing to do. Okay, anybody wish to make additional bets at this point? Okay, well, let's see what we get. We've had good luck so far. We got a seven. That means you lose, you lose, 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 lose. So now, now, but that doesn't mean you've lost because you have been collecting, you've been collecting all those 14s, right? Yeah. All right. So I think that illustrates the use of the 6-8 and, uh, and betting the 6-8. Now, you could also bet these others. Again, for more details, please look in the books or look at some of the other videos.